So, it's no secret these are crazy times in which we're living in. But the good news is you made it. Now to address the elephant in the room, in light of the governor's order to reopen Texas. Are we as a church going to open up? No. We're not reopening right away. Why not? Well, I seriously question the wisdom of reopening as soon as we finally get some good news. We risk undoing all the progress that we've made. The nation of Italy reopened and had to go back into lockdown again because they rushed. Here's a sad but true fact. These politicians don't actually care about you. Don't believe me? Take a look at Exhibit A. These are a list of people who are in charge of making these decisions. They're the governor's strike force. Let's see who is on the list of people who are in the governor's ear. President and CEO. 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 Perry Holmes. CEO, Brookshire Grocery Store, Chairman, Transportation Committee, CEO, Ec Executive Director of Tourism, CEO, Michael Dell, CEO, CEO, CEO. Perhaps you'll notice a pattern. Not one person on this list is a healthcare professional, a doctor, someone who actually has expertise in the livelihood of our citizens. These people have a vested interest in getting us back to the issue of making money as soon as possible. And regardless of who gets affected, their priority is making dollars, but that will not be our priority. We're going to look at case counts, vaccination rates, and when we reopen, it will be a gradual process. We're going to continue to follow the advice of the CDC, not self-serving politicians. So, in summary, we are not reopening yet. Your safety is our number one priority. And when we reopen, it'll have nothing to do with making money. My friends, we haven't been sitting on our hands during these difficult times. Thanks to your continued faithfulness, we've paid off our mortgage during the pandemic. We retiled the fellowship hall Thanks to your continued faithfulness, we've paid off our mortgage. We retiled our fellowship hall. Plans are in the works for innovative evangelism and outreach as we speak. And we've continued to, as a church, serve our community in a difficult time. Speaking to that end, later on this week, we're going to be holding a drive-in Sabbath school drive-in church, and drive-in communion service. I know that we all continue to feel the sting of being isolated for so long. I've heard stories of uh, mental anguish that people are going through, especially our young people. And so we're going to be doing more outdoors as the weather warms up, finding ways to connect to each other and with each other. So in the comfort of your home, I invite you to join us this weekend. Tune in your radio to 87.5 and join us at church in the church parking lot for Sabbath school, church, and communion service. For those of you who prefer a virtual option, as per usual, you can continue to tune in on Facebook and YouTube. You'll be able to pick up your virtual communion kit today from 6 to 
and this Thursday from 12 to 3 p.m. Forest Hill is on the move, and I am excited for what is to come. Be of good courage, friends, and as always, remember, the city that's set on a hill cannot.